I'm rolling over here. Okay. Rolling over here. The sound is rolling. All right. Uh, let me widen up for this. Right, can we see it everywhere? I see you here. Just give me one second. You're good there, and you're good there. All right. Uh, give me one second. I'm working, Mom. I'll call you later. Okay. Okay. All right. We're all ready. Bye. And take one. All right. Stand by. Stand by. No, 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 no. no. You don't go in until we say go. Sorry. Stand by. Okay. Action. Hey, Calandra. Hey. What brings you in today? I'm just here because my JPO told me to come by, even though I already have a job. I'm happy you're being proactive. Uh, tell me about what you do. Don't worry about what I do. Just know that I make more money in a week than you do in a month. Look, we done here. Okay, so earning a high income is a top priority. Um, what would your JPO say if she knew about your current job? She'd probably go crazy. She'd probably try to lock me up. But what she don't understand is I have a daughter to feed, you know, and I can't make no minimum wage. Actually, I really don't have any issues with my job. The only issue I have is sitting here talking to you. Sure, your, your daughter is your main motivation, and taking care of her is your top priority. Even though if your JPO found out about your current job, it could potentially take you away from her. Whatever. Take two. Stand by. Look down. I know it's like you're you're uh, you're you're reviewing notes. All right. Stand by. Action. Hey, Calandra. What brings you in today? I'm just here because my JPO said I had to be here, even though I already make money. Tell me about your current job. Don't worry about my job. Just know that I make more money in a week than you do in a month. Um, we done here. Okay, so it sounds like earning money is the top priority for you. What would your JPO say if she heard about your current job? My JPO, she probably a flip, but what she don't understand is I have a daughter to feed, you know, and I can't make no minimum wage. I'm actually good with how I make money. I have no issues. The only issue I have is sitting here talking to you. Sure. Your daughter is your number one priority, and you'll do whatever it takes to take care of her. Even though if your JPO found out about your current job, it could potentially take you away from her. Whatever. Hey, Calandra, what brings you in? Look, I'm just here because my JPO said I have to be here, even though I already make money. I'm happy you're being proactive. Tell me about what you do. Don't worry about my job. Just know that I make more money in a week than you do in a month. We good here. Okay, so earning a high income is the top priority for you. Um, what would your JPO say she found out about your current job? My JPO would probably go crazy. She probably try to lock me back up, but what she don't understand is I have a daughter to feed, and I can't make no minimum wage. Actually, I'm fine with the money I make. The only issue I have is sitting here talking to you. Okay, so it sounds like your daughter is your main motivation and you'll do anything to take care of her, even though potentially your JPO could take her from you. Whatever. They were always, look at him and give that line about, uh, the, the line that includes I make more money in a week than you make in a month. Because you kind of, you kind of roll your eyes, don't worry about what I do, I make more in a week than you probably make in a month. You, you're kind of, you're looking around, but look at him when you give that line, because that's, that's a dig. Okay. Alright, whenever you're ready. 
Don't worry about what I do. Just know I make more money in a week than you do in a month. Look, we good here? Do it again and give me more applause that we say than you do in a month. Okay. Let's have applause when we're done here. Whenever you're ready. Don't worry about what I do. Just know I make more money in a week than you do in a month. We good here? Okay. Right. So you're, 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 you're shot at it. Okay. Right. So I'll sit up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You can get aggressive. I'm ready to go. You're right. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Don't worry about what I do. Just know I make more money in a week than you do in a month. We good here? Don't worry about what I do. Just know I make more money in a week than you do in a month. We done? Don't worry about what I do. Just know I make more money in a week than you do in a month. Are we done? All right. Sit down here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I should have said, are we done here? Okay. Display? Is it up now? Yeah, it's up. Okay. Do you need it to write down the numbers? Yeah, we can take it. Okay. I got so much stuff on my screen, I usually get rid of it so I can see what's going on. I'm a psychology book. Calandra, what brings you in today? Look, I'm just here because my JPO said I have to be here, even though I already make money. I'm happy you're being proactive. Tell me about what you do. Don't worry about what I do. Just know I make more money in a week than you do in a month. Are we good here? Okay. So earning money is a top priority for you. Um, It's very important. What would your JPO say if she found out about your current job? My JPO would probably flip. She'd probably try to put me back in jail, but what she don't understand is I have a daughter to feed, you know, and I can't be making no minimum wage. I'm actually good with the job that I have. The only job, the only issue that I have right now is sitting here talking to you. Sure. So taking care of your daughter is your number one priority, and you'll do anything for her, even though if your JPO finds out, she could potentially take your daughter from you. Whatever. Like, <laughs> that that awkward pause up. at the end was just. <laughs> Marker, second screen, take one. Um, you know, I don't. Is he in the center camera? Did you see him? Yeah. Since I got time good on those, I think I'm. I'm you heard really it. Hey, Calandra, how are you doing today? Hey. So, tell me about the interview. I didn't get the job, and the questions they were asking, they were hard. Okay. Well, before we 
talk about the questions. I want to let you know that every employment session this month, you attended. And you did a great job. And your career coach showed me a picture of you in your interview outfit. You look professional. I even heard that you showed up 15 minutes early, shook the manager's hand, and looked him right in the eye. Just like we practice. Thanks. What are your thoughts on our next session? We just focus on the interview questions to get you even more prepared for your next interview. Okay, that's good. Great. I can set you up for tomorrow at 9 a.m. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Interview. I'm trying to hypnotize you. Talking about, uh, the whole thing you said you came to every employment class this week really took the material seriously. And uh, Calandra, you're, you're down, but as you're listening to him, you're become, you're, you're, your spirits are being lifted. Got it. Oh, you want me to do it again? Yeah. Did he say you wanted me to do it again? So before we talk about the questions, I just want to let you know, you came to every employment class this month. You did a great job. Your career coach even showed me a picture of you the day of your interview. You looked so professional. I heard that you showed up 15 minutes early, and when you met the manager, you shook his hand and looked him in the eye. That is really, really impressive. Thanks. No problem. So how about this? What we're going to do is just focus on interview questions during our next couple sessions to get you even more prepared for your next interview. Okay, that works. Great. So let's start tomorrow, 9 a.m. Okay, see you tomorrow. All right, hold, your, hold. look at each other. Uh, Calandra, look at him and say the questions are really hard. I don't think I did very well. And, and, you, and just watch her. I didn't get the job, and the questions they were asking, they were really hard. I don't think I did too good. Okay. Calandra, look at him. He's just giving, he, he's giving you new hope. Uh, 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 Curtis, uh, talk to her about uh, we're going to focus on the interview questions. You're going to do great, and he's giving you new hope. Look at him and say thank you, just like, just like you did. So, so for our next couple sessions, we'll just focus on the interview questions and get you even more prepared for your next interview. Okay, that works. Great. Thank you. Do it again. But Good, so, thank so you. you. Say, okay, that works. <laughs> then look at him, give you applause, and, and you really mean it. Thank you. Okay. Go ahead. Hold on, where am I starting? <laughs> uh, uh, our, next, our next session, we're just going to focus on the interview questions. Gotcha. So for our next session, what we're going to do is just focus on the interview questions so we can get you even more prepared for your next interview. Okay, that works. Thank you. No problem. Let's start tomorrow, 9 a.m. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, that was kind of a half-hearted thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to help you, Calandra. Okay, I'm going to say <laughs> thank you, Mr. Curtis. I think it needs to be like more 
like, you know, thank you, I appreciate that. Like, more genuine. That's how yeah. youth would say. They would yeah. be like, thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh. yeah. you tomorrow. Okay. And again, we're going to say our next class we're going to focus on the interview questions. We're going to set that to her. So what are your thoughts on our next couple of sessions? We just focus on the interview questions to get you even more prepared for that next interview. Okay, that works. Thank you. Absolutely. What we can do is start tomorrow at 9 a.m. Okay. How are you? Good. My name is Mr. C. Hey, Mr. C. I'm Calandra. Hey, Calandra. What brings you in today? Well, I told my probation officer that I would come, so here I am. You told your probation officer you would be here. You're here. You are a woman of your word. Appreciate it. So what do you know about the program? Um, I don't really know much. I know you guys help people find a job or something, but that's about it. Sounds like they didn't go into too much detail about the purpose of us working together. No, they didn't, but it's cool. So what do you guys do? Sure, and you kind of touched on it already. We help uh, young people get jobs, can get a credential. We can even help with grade gains um, if that's something you want to work towards. Uh, basically, anything you think will help you be successful, that's what we can help with. Okay, I want a job. Well, when I came in, you shook my hand, you looked at me, maintained eye contact, you're dressed professionally, I think you're gonna do great. Thank you. So what are your thoughts on knocking out some intake paperwork? Uh, that'll get you officially enrolled, and then we could talk specifics about getting a job. Okay. Oh, do you guys help with GED also? Absolutely. So let me write that here. So if I have this right, um, you initially came because your JPO referred you. Um, you really didn't know what we do, but after learning a little more, you think we can help you get a job. And you actually would like to get a GED as well. Uh, we could do some intake paperwork. That'll kind of get you started and officially enrolled. And then from there, we could talk specifics about the next steps to getting you a job. Okay, that sounds good. Let's do it. Let's get started. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm way too happy. This is how I would actually talk to a female, though. But wait, where was I? I was at job. So I need to ask about or was I? Or was I at job? I, I think anywhere you start, they probably can cut it. Okay. You're gonna start with. Hey. No, she needs to be convinced. So not as excited. Okay. All right. Okay. You're good you got it. Got it. Okay. But you're not as excited as you were. As in pre contemplation. Hey, Phil. Yes, sir. I need to leave at two to go see my probation officer. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was the beard. I knew it. <laughs> it's a perfect setup. <laughs> Sounds a little sketchy. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Put my phone away here. <laughs> he his yeah, head, like. Cheers to you, Calandra. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, uh, Wait, where we start? Uh, marker. City marker. Stand by, all right, let's start with Calandra. Again, stand by. All right. Well, I told my probation officer that I would come, so here I am. You told your probation officer you would be here, and you're here. You're a woman of your word. So what do you know about the program? I don't really know much about it. Um, I heard you guys 
like help people find a job or something, but that's about all I know. Sounds like they really didn't go into specifics about the purpose of us working together. Nah, they didn't, but. All right, we're gonna hold there, keep rolling, please keep rolling. Do it again, but try not, try not uh -huh. to move it. Try not to move up and down, because the camera's gotta go with you. Uh, Kurt, try and, try and, yeah, don't do that. It felt like okay. it just did. Yeah, you can try to be. Either sit up, or even if you lean forward, it's fine, but, but hold the position. Gotcha. Do it, the exact same thing again. You Starting look small. uncomfortable. Why are you, you know, I'm here because my, Sounds like they really didn't explain no, the. No, 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 I want to put it. I want to put it off. I want to put it off. Well, I told my probation officer that I would come, so here I am. Sounds like they really didn't explain the purpose of us working together. No, nah, they didn't, but it's cool. So, what do you guys do anyway? Well, you kind of touched on it a little bit. We help young people get jobs, mm -hmm. um, we can help you get a credential. Uh, we could even help with grade gains if that's a goal you have. Really, anything you think will help you be successful, then that's what we work on. Okay. Well, I need a job. Well, the way you came in, you shook my hand. Um, you maintained eye contact. You're dressed professionally today, which is really impressive. Um, I think you're going to do great. Thank you. What are your thoughts on knocking out some intake paperwork? That'll get you officially enrolled. And then from there, we can talk specifics on the job process. Okay, that works. Oh, but do you guys help get GEDs also? Absolutely. I love that you said that. So let me see if I have this right. Um, you were referred by your probation officer. Mm -hmm. Didn't really know why, but after learning more about the program, you realized we could probably help you get a job. Yeah. Um, not only a job, you might also want to pursue your GED. Uh, what we'll do is we'll do some intake paperwork. That'll get you enrolled officially with our program. Okay. And then from there, we'll talk specifics on the next step to help you get that job. Okay, that sounds good. Let's do it. Awesome. Nice try. <laughs> it's awkward to stand there. It's like. Yeah, cut. Alex, stand by. Go ahead. Marker. Calandra, I got to say, you look very professional today. Thank you. So what brings you in? Well, I've been on my job six months with no issues. You know, when you first came in this program, we knew you had tremendous potential. And everyone around here is so proud of you. You're doing an amazing job. Thanks. I really appreciate it. The only thing is, though, it's getting a little boring, you know? Every day is like the same thing. The coupon lady in the morning, the angry manager that comes in in the afternoon. But don't freak out. I'm not going back to the old stuff, you know. I'm just saying, it's just hard a little bit, you know. Sure, being an adult can definitely be boring from time to time. Uh, what's exciting is that you've been there for your daughter and you've been able to support her and, and be there for her. Thanks. What are your thoughts? Ah! Ah! <laughs> First miss line. Let me get that over. I was like, did I miss a line? My mind went blank. <laughs> That's my only one of the day. <laughs> That's why I messed my line up. I knew the computer was in the wrong spot. <laughs> Oh. Like, no offense, but I'm glad it was It's because I'm hangry. Because I was like, ah, oh, there's one. I can't breathe either. Should I have a and get your potassium, get your, get your corn? If you can, uh, Curtis, I'm going to uh, be a little more conversational. If you can pick up the pace just a little bit. Um, I agree. You established a relationship with her, you're proud of her. Um, just, you know, pick up the pace just a little bit. Gotcha. Okay. She came into my office right before lunch, so I'm a little angry. <laughs> That's what's throwing me off, but I got it. <laughs> okay, that's not going to bring it for you, so. I know. That sounds like, mm, thanks. <laughs> yes. When you're talking about your job, you know, it's, it's the only thing is, I mean, you're, you're saying, well, things are going good. You know, but the only thing is, sometimes it's true. 
take everything under After thank I say you, great kids, and I'll be like, oh, true, yeah. true. True, true. Yeah. Okay. Marker, take two. Hey, Calandra. I gotta say, you look really professional today. Thanks, Mr. C Mr. Curtis. Thanks, Mr. Curtis. No, 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 I'm sorry. Hey, Calandra. Hold on. All right. Hey, Calandra, you look really professional today. Thanks, Mr. C. Guess what? I've been on my job for six months with no issues. What? You know, when you first came in the program, we knew you had tremendous potential. And to hear that you've been there six months, everyone here is so proud of you. Yep, true, true. So what brings you in? Well, you know, the job is okay. It's just, it's a little boring. Every day is like, it's like the same thing. You know, it's like that coupon lady that comes in in the morning, mm -hmm. um, the angry manager in the afternoon. You know, sometimes it's a little annoying, but don't freak out, Mr. C. I'm not going back to my old ways. It's just, it's just hard sometimes, you know? Sure, being an adult can definitely be boring from time to time. What's exciting is that you've been able to be there for your daughter and support her. What are your thoughts on, I have a couple minutes, we can discuss some tips based on my experience on how to deal with angry customers, maybe an angry manager or two. And yes. We could even talk about what it might take to get you into a manager position yourself. That sounds good because, you know, one day I would like to be a manager. Then I would make enough money to move out of my mom's place. Absolutely, and I have no doubt you can make that happen. Thank you. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Chris, what can I say? Um, um, you have 45 hours. We both have to. You have really impressed everyone. We knew you could do it. And, I, and, and look at him and say thank you to that. And then after she says thank you, you go, well, so what brings you in here today? Whenever you're ready. You really impressed everyone. We knew you could do it. Thank you. So what brings you in today? Well, no, 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 no. You, you, uh, you, you're more upbeat. So, you know, you're happy to see us. So what brings you in today? Uh, we'll keep rolling. We're good. Same thing. You really impressed everyone. We knew you could do it. Thank you. So what brings you in today? Well, it's about my job, you know. Um, it's a little boring, but it's, it's okay. It's just every day it's the same thing. It's that coupon lady that comes in in the morning, the angry manager that comes in in the afternoon. You know, it's just, it's just annoying sometimes, but don't freak out. I'm not going back to my old ways. It's just, it's just hard sometimes. Sure, being an adult can definitely be boring sometimes, and, and the, the coupon lady can be irritating. <laughs> yes. What's exciting is that you've had the opportunity to really be there for your daughter and, and support her, which I know is so important to you. That's true. So what are your thoughts? Um, I actually have a couple minutes. We could talk about some tips on how to deal with angry customers, mm -hmm. maybe how to deal with angry managers. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, we can even look into some ways that you can move into a manager role one day. Okay, that sounds good because you know, I would like to be a manager one day and then I'll make enough money to move out of my mom's place. I have no doubt you can make all that happen. Let's get to work. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Do it again, except to say, if you have a couple minutes, again, we're kind of, you're, you're asking her if she has a couple minutes, <coughs> I should be saying, what are your thoughts? Like opening up to him, am I not saying that? Yeah, but you said, we want it to be less about you've got a couple minutes, and we're about if she has a couple minutes. Gotcha, okay. Let's just get some more compassion. Right, this is very simple, right? Yeah, baby, put it up just a little bit. I mean, you're still, you're still. Me or you? If you have a couple minutes, we can discuss some tips on how to deal with angry customers, maybe even how to deal with angry managers. We could even talk about some ways that you can move into a manager role yourself. Okay, 
That sounds good because I would like to be a manager one day and then I'll probably make enough money to move out of my mom's place. I have no doubt that all of that you can make happen. Let's get to work. Yeah, we kind of butchered that one a little bit, but I think we're killing. We this is probably our most. I think so. Okay. Hey, Calandra. It's good to see you. You look really professional today. Thank you, Mr. C. Guess what? I've been in my job for six months, no issues. Six months? That's so awesome. Right, when, let's cut there, we're gonna do it again. Yeah. Been doing my job. Surprised. You're proud of it. You look like, God, you look good. <laughs> 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 like, I'm, hold on now. You're building your own company. You really look professional. You're not surprised, because you knew she could do it. Right. Okay. <laughs> I've been in my job, like, what does that mean? Hey, Calandra, it's good to see you. You look really professional. Thank you, Mr. C. Guess what? I've been on my job for six months with no issues. Six months? That is awesome. You know, when you first came into our program, we knew you had unlimited potential. We're all so proud of you. Thank you. The only That's thing really is... More enthusiasm. Yeah, yeah. All right. Be excited, you know. You're going to discourage me. Gotcha. Whenever you're ready. Hey, Calandra, it's nice to see you. You look really professional. Thank you. Guess what? I've been on my job for six months with no issues. Six months? We're so proud of you. All right, one more time. Come down. Less enthusiasm. <laughs> hey, Calandra, it's glad I'm. <clears throat> hey, Calandra. Gotcha. Hey, Calandra, I'm glad to see you. You look really professional. Thank you. I've been on my job. Six months now with no issues. Okay, you know what I said that was going to be the last time in my life? <laughs> smile, smile at her. When you say you look really professional, give her a smile at her. I mean, okay. I guess you look, look her in the eye and say, you look real good. You're proud of her. Look at her and you're proud of her and you know that she, you want to make her proud of herself. That's what you look like. I <laughs> Hey, Calandra, it's good to see you. You look really professional. Thank you. Guess what? I've been on my job for six months with no issues. Six months? We knew when you first came in the program you had unlimited potential. We're all so proud of you. Thank you. I appreciate it. The I'm going to do it again. It's good to see you. Give me a pause, smile, because you look really professional. <laughs> okay? Hey, uh, are you saying action? Yeah, okay. stand by. Action. Hey, Calandra, you look really professional. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, my God. Good to see you. Applause, smile. But smile, then say the line, you look really professional. But smile when I say that? The professional? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Calandra, it's good to see you. You look really professional. Thank you. I appreciate it. The only thing is, the job is just. Sorry. No, no, cut. Yes, cut. Cut. Skip the whole. Yeah. Oh my gosh.
Who would have thought that you look professional? Uh, <laughs> Calandra. Stand by. This is from the top all the way through. Stand by. Action. Hey, Calandra. It's good to see you. You look really professional. Thanks. Guess what? I've been on my job six months with no issues. Six months? That is awesome. When you first came in the program, we knew you had unlimited potential. We're so proud of you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. The only thing is that, you know, sometimes the job is a little boring. It's kind of the same thing every day. You know, the coupon lady that comes in in the morning and that angry manager that I was telling you about in the afternoon. You know, it's just hard sometimes. But don't freak out. I'm not going back to my old ways. I'm just saying. Sure. There, there's no doubt that being an adult can be boring from time to time. What's exciting is that you've been able to be there for your daughter. Um, you've been able to support her and really pursue a positive path. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's true. So I have a couple minutes. Um, if you have a couple minutes, we can talk about some tips on how potentially to deal with angry customers, maybe how to deal with an angry manager. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, we can even talk about some ways that you could move into a manager role eventually. You know, that sounds good because I would like to be a manager one day. And then maybe I'll make enough money to move out of my mom's place. Absolutely. I, I think if you dedicate yourself like you have thus far, you're going to do amazing, and we can get this done. Okay. And cut. Is it real? Okay. Didn't mean to say okay. Slip. <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> Margaret. Hey, Mr. C. Hey. Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, what's going on? Well, I was thinking about our last conversation and I need to get a job. That's awesome, I'm glad you said that. I know you can do it. Thanks, I thought you might like that. I do. So, what's the plan? Well, about a year ago, I used to work for um, this company and I got fired two weeks after I got hired, but I probably could do the same thing again. I didn't know you had a job before. That's impressive. Uh, how'd you get it? I just went to an open interview. I talked to the manager and he hired me on the spot. But two weeks later, I got fired over something stupid. I do not, I don't know a lot of young people that can get a job on their first interview. Like, that's awesome. Good job. Thanks. I know a thing or two. Okay. Um, you mentioned you weren't there long. So what caused you to leave? Well, one day, the manager got upset over something stupid. So I got upset, and I quit. But I wasn't serious about it then. I didn't need that job. I didn't really care back then. OK. So at that time, um, maintaining employment wasn't something that was your top priority. It wasn't the most important thing to you. No, but now I'm serious. I'm really serious this time. I believe you. I definitely believe you. And when you're serious, there's no doubt you can do it. Thanks. You know, I appreciate that. So I realized that, you know, it's important to me to see my daughter, you know, and for her to see me working a real job. You know, I want her to be proud of me. You know, it's also important for my mom to be proud of me as well. Sure. Making, making your family proud can be a great feeling. Yeah. And I realized that if I don't get serious, I'm probably going to go back to jail. I don't want to go back to jail. I don't want to leave my family. My family is important. If you get locked up, um, it sounds like you'd be away from some very important people. I would. I really would. And, you know, it's, it's, it's just time for me to get serious. We have bills at home that I feel like I need to help out with. Also, I want to start saving, get a car, you know. Sure. If you get a job, you can take care of some of those bills. Um, you could be there for your daughter, and you could even make mom proud. 
it also sounds like if the busier you are, the, 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 the less likely it is that you'll get in trouble. Exactly. Okay. So we have an appointment next Monday at 9. Um, what are your thoughts on visiting two employers before then? You've shown to me that you can make a positive impression on an employer pretty easily. Um, so go ahead and visit two. And then when you come back on Monday, we can talk about how it went. Okay. I could do that. As a matter of fact, down the road from my house, there's a plaza that has about five or six stores. I probably could just go there and apply for a few. Even better. See, now I, I knew you were serious about <laughs> this. So we'll say five. Okay. Um, and when you come back, we'll talk about how those five went. And then we'll see, okay, what are our next steps to moving towards getting a job at one of those five places? Okay. That sounds good, but I probably need to update my resume also. Can I bring it on Monday? No problem. Bring your resume. We'll update that, and then we'll get started. Okay. Awesome. Hey, Mr. C. Hey, what's you got going a on? Sure. Uh, what's happening? Well, I was thinking about our last conversation, and I want to get a job. I'm so happy to hear that. Um, there's no doubt you can make it happen. Thanks. I thought that might make you happy. It does. It does. <laughs> so what's the plan? Well, about a year ago, I used to work for this company, and I probably could do it again, even though two weeks after I got hired, they fired me. I didn't know you had a job before. That's impressive. Uh, how'd you get it? I just went to an open interview. I talked to the manager and he hired me right on the spot. But two weeks later, I got fired over something stupid. I don't know a lot of people that can interview and then get the job on the same day. It says a lot about your interviewing skills. Thanks. I know a thing or two. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned that you weren't there long. Um, what caused you to leave? Well, the manager got upset one day over something stupid. So then I got upset and I quit. But back then, I didn't need that job. I didn't even care about it. Mm. So then having a job or keeping a job um, wasn't that important to you. It wasn't a top priority. No, it wasn't. But now I'm serious. You know, I, I want a job. I'm serious about it. I believe you. And if you dedicate yourself and we work together, we can make it happen. Thanks. I realized that I don't want to go back to jail. You know, I, I don't want to get in trouble anymore. And if I do go back to jail, then I'm going to leave my family. Mm -hmm. Family um, is important to you. And having the opportunity to make them proud, um, that can mean a lot. Yeah. I want to make my daughter proud. Plus, I want to get a car. I want to start saving. And we have bills around the house. I feel like I need to be helping out with those. Sure. Um, if you get a job, you'll be able to be there for your daughter and make your mom proud, pay some of those bills, and, and keep yourself busy. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So we have an appointment next Monday at 9 a.m. Um, you've shown me that you have the ability to walk into a job, interview, and get the child right away. Mm -hmm. So let's, if you're up for it, um, say two employers you'll visit. Um, complete an application, meet with the manager, and then when you come back on Monday, we'll talk about how it went. Okay, I could do that. Um, actually, down the road from my house, there's this plaza, and it has about five or six stores that, you know, I probably could just go there and apply for a few. That's even better. See, I, I knew you were dedicated. <laughs> so, you said five, mm -hmm. so let's, let's do that. You'll visit five stores, complete those applications, and then when you come back, we'll talk about the next steps to getting a job at one of those places you applied to. Okay, that sounds good. On Monday, um, can I bring my resume? Because it probably needs to be updated. Sure, sure. Bring your resume. Um, we'll have it looking brand new for you. And then uh, we'll see what comes next. Okay, sounds good. All right, see you Monday. Hold, hold, hold. Now, there was some discrepancy. Yeah. You said you were fired May September about Who did? Yeah. You did? You wrote that. <laughs> no, just joking. I don't know. Okay.
Okay. Uh, family is important to me. And, and well, I know what part you're talking about. Uh, yeah, it says tell me about the last job. Okay. We're, uh, uh, it's in the beginning. We're talking about the old job. Sure. Yeah. We, we skipped yeah. the line to being locked up. I was, uh, let's pick it up where you say the you locked up line. you didn't work there long. What happened to make you leave? And we'll pick it up from there. But remember, you got fired, you didn't quit. And jail ain't where it's at. Okay, but he's, he's going to. Right, so he's going to say, that. you mentioned you, you worked there very long. And then you're going to get into your story about. Uh, he's asked that part, right? No, that's before. He said, what causes, what causes you to be manager was stripped and I got angry and let you up. I got fired about two weeks later. She got fired. Okay, so I'll, I'll be fired. Okay. <laughs> Did I write quick? You got it. Right. Got it. So let's pick it up where Curtis says, you mentioned you didn't work there long. What caused you to leave? So what's your plan? Or what's Wait, did I write quick? Let me see. Because huh? if I wrote quick, let me go. Uh, well, you wrote fire definitely on at the beginning. Yeah, down at the bottom. So it's fire about two weeks ago. I got fired. I got fired, yeah. Okay. So. Curtis starts with the question. Okay. You mentioned you worked there very long. What caused you to leave? And then we tell the story. Okay. I'm ready now. You good? Stand by. <laughs> You're looking at each other. And action. You mentioned you weren't there very long. Uh, what caused you to leave? Well, the manager started tripping over something stupid and I got upset, so I got fired. Okay. So at the time, keeping a job wasn't a top priority for you. Right. But now I'm serious. You know, I'm, I'm serious about it. I wasn't serious then, but I'm serious now. Sure. And, and, and I believe you 100%. And if we work together, we can make that happen. Thank you. Because I realized that I want to make my daughter proud. You know, I, I, I want to work a real job, and I want her to be proud of me. And I realized jail is not where it's at. I don't want to go back to jail and lose my family. Sure, making your family proud is, is a great feeling. And if you're locked up, you could be away from some very important people. That's true. And, you know, we have bills at home. I feel like I need to be helping out with those. Plus, I want to start saving. I want to get my own car, you know? Sure, it, it sounds like if you get a job, you'll be able to pay some of those bills, maybe have your own independence, your own vehicle. Um, take care of your daughter and make your mom proud. Exactly. Okay, so we have an appointment next Monday at 9. So what are your thoughts on before that appointment? You visit two employers, uh, meet with the manager, uh, complete the application, and then when you come back, we can talk about how it went. Okay, that sounds good. And down the road from my house, there's a plaza with about five or six stores that I probably could go in there and, you know, apply for a couple of those. That's even better. I, I knew you were serious about this. So instead of two, we'll say five. Okay. Um, meet with five managers, uh, complete five applications. We meet on Monday. We talk about the next steps to actually getting a job at one of those places. Okay, that sounds good. And on Monday, can I bring my resume? Because it needs to be updated. That's a great idea. Yeah, bring your resume. We'll get that thing um, looking new and, and, and ready to go. Okay, sounds good. See you Monday. See you Monday. Do it make sense that I'm saying, that you're saying, like, go apply for two jobs, but then on Monday I'm bringing my resume? I didn't mean to. It just kind of, you know, I was, I was forgetting my lines, so. <laughs> okay. Are we including our warm-up routine before? or Marker. No. Rolling. Hey, Calandra, uh, what brings you into there? Well, I was thinking about our last conversation, and maybe a job might work. 
I'm excited to hear you've been thinking about maybe getting a job. What changed? I was sitting there and I was looking at my baby girl, you know, and I was thinking she needs things and she need me. I don't trust her dad. So if I'm taking away from her, who's going to be there for her? You know, I need to buy her things like clothes, shoes, food. She needs the finer things in life. I need money quick, though. I don't have time to wait. Sounds like you've been thinking what it might be like to be taken away from your daughter, and you really want to be there for her. I do, but like I say, she needs those things now. Okay. So what are your thoughts on discussing some resources that could help those immediate needs, and then we could also work towards getting a legitimate job so you could be there for your daughter in the future? Mm, let me think about it. Um, it's not so much excitement because she's still on the fence, so I don't want to overdo it on your ha one foot in, one foot out. But Maybe I a little more welcoming. Uh, okay. As early as possible, a little more. What brings you in? You know, how can I help you? I mean, that's just, I'm not part of the program, but it does strike me as, as, as a little um, distant. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Just at first, just you know, what brings you in, and, and uh, maybe a little more engaging at first. Not over, not over the top, but just a tad more. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Stand by. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Stand by and action. Hey, Calandra. I'm really get, glad to see you today. What's going on? Well, I was thinking about our last job and our, you know, our last conversation about the job. Right, let's start over. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you're gonna let that go. <laughs> I tried to keep rolling. I don't think they like that. Uh, they like that guy. Hey, Calandra. I'm glad to see you back. Uh, what's going on? Well, I was thinking about our last conversation, and maybe a job might work. That's awesome news. You're thinking about potentially getting a job. Uh, what changed? I was sitting at home, and I was looking at my baby girl, and I was thinking, you know, if I go to jail, what's going to happen to her? I don't trust her dad. And she needs things. You know, she needs clothes. She needs shoes, food. I want to give her the things in life that I never had, you know? But I need money quick. Sounds like you've been thinking a little more what it would be like if you were away from your daughter. And possibly getting a legitimate job could help ensure that you're there for her in the future. Yeah, but listen, she needs those things now. Okay. So what are your thoughts on discussing some resources today that could help those immediate needs while also making some steps towards getting you a legitimate job so you can be there for your daughter. Mm, I'll think about it. Keep rolling. Uh, Calandra, lean back. I want you to give your lines, but I don't want you to lean there. We're just going to stay on, on uh, Curtis. Pick it up from uh, Curtis. You say to her, um, what changed your mind? And then go through to the end, but, but I just need you to stay back so you don't lean into this guy. Okay. All right. Ask her, what changed your mind? What changed your mind? Well, I was sitting and I was looking at my daughter and I was thinking, you know, if I go to jail, what's going to happen to her? I don't trust her dad and she needs things. You know, she needs clothes, shoes, food. I want to give her the things in life that I never had. You know, I want to give her the finer things, but I need money now. I need money quick. 
Sounds like you've been thinking about what it would be like if you were away from your daughter. And you've also been thinking about how getting a legitimate job could potentially ensure you're there for her in the future. Yeah, but like I said, she needs those things now. Okay. So what are your thoughts today if we discuss some resources that could potentially help those immediate needs while also talking about how do we get you a legitimate job to ensure you are there for your daughter? Mm, I'll think about it. Sorry, did I do it again? Sorry about that. Hey, Calandra. I'm glad you could come in today. So what's going on? Well, I was thinking about our last conversation and maybe a job might work. That's awesome news. You've been thinking about potentially getting a job. Uh, what changed? You know, I was sitting at home and I was looking at my baby girl and I was thinking, if I go to jail, what's going to happen to her? You know, who's going to take care of her? Because I don't trust her dad. But she needs things, you know. She needs clothes, shoes, food. I want to buy her the finer things in life. You know, the things that I never had. But listen, I need to make money quick. Sounds like you've been thinking more what it would be like if you were away from your daughter and how potentially getting a legitimate job could help ensure that you're there for her in the future. Yeah, but like I said, she needs those things now. Okay. So what are your thoughts today if we discuss some resources that could help those immediate needs while also discussing how can we get you a legitimate job so that can ensure that you're there for her if for the long run? Mm -hmm. I'll think about it. No problem. <laughs> Sound speed. Sound speed. Marker. Stand by. All right, stand by. Action. Hey, Calandra. What's wrong? I got to tell you something, Mr. C. I messed up. Um, tell me what happened. Well, my baby girl was sick, so I had to call in. And you remember that angry manager I was telling you about? Mm -hmm. He gave me all type of attitude. So I said, forget it. I hung up the phone. And next thing I know, I was fired. So what I did was I called some of my old friends to see what type of fast money we could make. Sounds like you really upset you lost your job. I am. You know, I, I was trying to work hard. and. I didn't want to call those old friends and, you know, I didn't do anything, but I definitely thought about it. I'm just really upset. Sure. So you had to take care of your, take care of your daughter for the day um, and you had difficulty expressing that to your manager. So that might have led to you getting fired. Yeah. Um, probably what I should have done was just calm down a little bit and explain to him what was going on. Staying calm when, when angry, it, it can definitely be challenging. But it sounds like if you were able to, your boss might have understood and you, you might still have your job. Probably, but I'm fired now, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Well, I appreciate you being honest with me. What I do know about you, Calandra, is you're a hard worker. And if you dedicate yourself, you can get a job pretty quick. That's how you got this one. Um, so tomorrow when we meet, Let's look at some other places that are hiring in your neighborhood and we'll get back to work. Okay, that's cool. Calandra, what's wrong? 
Mr. C, I messed up. Okay. Tell me what happened. Well, my daughter was sick, so I called in, and you remember that angry manager I was telling you about? Mm -hmm. He gave me all type of attitude. So finally, I said, forget it, and I hung up the phone. Next thing I know, I was fired. So I called up my old friends just to see what type of fast money I could make. Sounds like it really upset you lost your job. Yeah, I am. You know, I'm really bummed about it. And even though I didn't go with those old friends, I definitely thought about it. So you had to take care of your daughter for the day. Um, you had some difficulty expressing that to your boss, which led to you getting fired. Yeah, I probably should have just calmed down and told him what was going on. Telling yourself to be calm when, when angry, it, it can definitely be challenging. Um, but it sounds like if you were able to do that, maybe your boss would have understood and, and you might still have your job. Yeah, but it doesn't matter now. I'm fired. I really appreciate your honesty, Calandra. Um, you've gotten a job before and, and you've done it really quickly. I think if you dedicate yourself again, we can make this happen. Yeah, I think so. What are your thoughts on next time we meet, we find out what, uh, what jobs are applying, uh, we find out what uh, employers are hiring in your neighborhood, and then we... Pick up, pick up the line from the beginning there. What do you think about this? Which one? Right. Say it again. What do you say? What do you think about this? You're going to make your pitch. We'll pick it up right there. Stand by. Action. What do you think about this? Um, we'll find out some other places that are hiring in your neighborhood, and we'll start the job process again. Okay, that's cool. Right. See you Monday. Hey, Calandra, what's wrong? Mr. C, I messed up. Tell me what happened. Well, my baby was sick, so I had to call in. And that angry manager that I was telling you about, he answered the phone. He gave me all type of attitude. So I said, you know what, forget it. And I hung up the phone. Next thing I know, I was fired. I can't believe it. So. I called up some old friends to see what type of fast money I could make. Sounds like you're really upset you lost your job. I am, you know, I'm, I'm really upset about it. I really blew it, Mr. C. So you had to take care of your daughter for the day. Um, you had difficulty expressing that to your boss that led to you getting fired. Yeah, what I should have done was just calm down and told him what was going on and then, you know, he probably would have understood it. Sure. Uh, managing your anger when you're, you're frustrated, it can be challenging. But it sounds like if you were able to, you could potentially have kept your job because maybe your boss would have understood the situation. Yeah, I think so, but it doesn't matter now because I'm fired. Well, Calandra, I, I appreciate your honesty. Um, it's, it's, it's really important that we're honest when we work together, and, and you did that today. The good news is, uh, knowing you, you, when you dedicate yourself, you can get a job. Um, it's how you got this one. So what are your thoughts on finding some other places that are hiring in your neighborhood? And then when we meet on Monday, uh, we can start the job process again. Okay, that's cool. Great. What's going on, Calandra? I'm happy you're here. How's everything going? Good. Look, Mr. C, I know I was playing in the past, but I'm ready. I'm done with all the nonsense. You know, I want to work a legitimate job 
and I want my daughter to be proud of me. You just made my day, Calandra. I'm so <laughs> happy to hear that. When you came in, we knew you had tremendous potential. It might have took a little while, but you're here, and that's all that matters. You can do it. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You know, I was thinking that going back and forth to jail, that's not where it's at. You know, I want her to be proud of me. I want to make my family proud, you know? Sure. Family's your main motivation, and, and you definitely want to be there for your daughter. Right. That's true. Isn't it? I think that was you. Was it me? Ab absolutely, family. That's your main motivation, definitely. But look. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I knew that. It's just. Yep. Yeah. Okay. See. Hey, Calandra. I'm glad you're here today. What brought you in? Hey, Mr. C. So, I know I was playing around in the past, but I'm done with all the nonsense. I'm ready. You know, I want to work a legitimate job so that way I can make my daughter proud. Calandra, you made my day today. I'm so <laughs> excited to hear that from you. When you came in, we knew you had tremendous potential. It might have taken you a little while to get here, but you're here, and that's all that matters. I know you can do it. Thanks. You know, as I was thinking about it, I was thinking that jail is not where it's at. You know, I don't want to go back and forth to jail. I want to be able to make my daughter proud, and I want to make my mom proud. Sure. Family is your main motivation, and you definitely want to be there for your daughter. Right. But look, I was looking at an application the other day, and I did not even know what they were asking me. And I heard that when you go to interviews, they ask questions to trick you. Application questions can be uh, challenging at times. So how about this? How about we, the first time we meet, uh, we'll just review application questions, okay. maybe some interview questions, get you comfortable, and then go from there. Okay, that sounds good. Because if we can get that part, then I know the rest will be easy. You're a quick learner. And if we work hard and we work together, we can definitely make this happen. Okay, sounds good. Keep rolling. Say your thing again about I understand some of the application uh, <laughs> questions that trick you. <laughs> Got it. You gotta step forward for me. You get a boom set on your face. Oh yeah. Thank you. That'd be great. Yeah. We can do a quick one. Yeah. Alright, whenever you're ready. Start with applications? Thanks, but look, so I was looking at an application the other day and I don't even know where to start. Some of those questions, I had no idea what they were asking me. And I heard when you go to interviews, they ask you questions to trick you. Some of the questions on applications can be confusing, there's no doubt. Um, what are your thoughts on the first time we get together? We just look at application questions to get you comfortable and then we can go from there on the next steps to getting a job. Okay, that sounds good, because I know if I can get that part, the rest of it will be easy. You're a hard worker, and you're a quick learner. If we work together, there's no doubt we can make this happen. Okay, sounds good. All right, let's do it again from the top here. I miss you with a, with a uh, shadow. Okay. <laughs> Lean back for me just a second. You're good. You can move around. Right there. Oh, no. <laughs> and then we do our thing. All right, I'm ready. Great, I'm ready. Okay. Hey, Calandra. I'm so glad to see you. How's everything going? Good, Mr. C. You know, I know I was playing around in the past, but I'm done with all the nonsense. I'm ready. I want to see, you know, I want my daughter to see me, and I want her to see me working a legitimate job. You know, I want to make her proud. Calandra. You made my day today. I knew when you first came in, you had tremendous potential. 
It might have took, it, it might have taken a little while, but you're here now, and that's all that matters. Thanks. You know, I was thinking that going back and forth, in and out of jail, that's not where it's at. You know, that's, that's not the life that I want to live. I want to work a legitimate job, make my daughter proud, and even make my mom proud. Family's your main motivation, and you definitely want to be there for your daughter. Right. But look, I was looking at an application the other day, and I had no idea where to even start. Some of those questions they were asking me, I had no idea what they were asking. And I heard that when you go to an interview, they ask you questions to trick you. There's no doubt that some <laughs> of the application questions can be somewhat challenging. Mm -hmm. So what are your thoughts on the first time we have our official employment class? We review just the application questions. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. I know if we can knock that out, then the rest will be easy. You're a quick learner and you're a hard worker and you're dedicated. If we work together, we can make this happen. Okay, great. I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> we kind of both stumbled uh, up, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We stumbled a little bit. 